Hello, my gorgeous Capricorn. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all feeling absolutely wonderful. So Capricorn, um, before I start, just a very quick announcement. Gigi, who does also, um, you know, the other readings, she was actually supposed to do your finance, finance and your career reading for this week, but she has lost her voice. So she will be taking uh, this week off. Communication's terrible. Um, she has to write everything. And um, yeah, she's completely lost her voice. So this week's reading will just be my, uh, my, my reading, this video here. And we're gonna jump straight in. So um, that, just, that was just a heads up, especially if um, you were looking forward to your financial and career spread. I do apologize for that. She will be doing it next week. But uh, yeah, she's just completely lost her voice. It's, it's gone, <laughs> that's it. It's happened to me and it can be quite frustrating because as you know, we need our voice to do, um, of course, these readings. So Capricorn, I do wanna talk about something that is a little bit, um, a little bit touchy, you know, it's about what is your person not telling you? This is, this can encompass many things. If you think your person might be hiding something, if they're not being honest with you, perhaps if you just want clarity, especially if their words don't match their actions, or we think maybe, you know, is something going on that they're not telling us, regardless of how little or how long you have known them, we are going to get to the bottom of it. You know, um, it's my job. I want to give you clarity. I want to give you insight and hopefully to calm down, you know, any worries that you have about this person. So in the optional extended reading, because in this reading, I primarily want to focus on the energy of your person, right? If they're hiding anything, why are they hiding it? And in your optional extended reading, which the link is in the description box below Capricorn, um, I basically want to focus only on your person's next actions and how will it affect you. So that extended reading is available to rent, also to purchase. You, oh, they're saying two more. Thank you, Spirit. You can download it if you want. You don't have to. Um, take screenshots, take notes. It is yours for life. As I said, you can rent it, you can purchase it. It is your tool. And of course, as always in the optional extended reading, which I always say is optional, I will be focusing only on your person's perspective and strictly only from their perspective. I really want to focus on their next actions. So here, let's focus, of course, on anything that your person is hiding. I'm just going to first pick out some energy cards. I kind of want to see what is going on. Okay, ooh, all right. They're saying to take out six, that's interesting. And then we'll get straight and look at these. Ah, okay, so we've got some messages that are going to be kind of married together or they're kind of like linked together. They're coming out together. For some of you, it could be dealing with a Leo. Now, remember, this person does not have to be a Leo. It could even be somewhere strong in their chart here as well. Yeah, you're going to discover something about this person. We got discovery. That's the whole point of this reading. Let's see. Yeah, there's going to be a change. Something is going to, I'm actually seeing that, you know, it's kind of like more of a, a symbol when we start stirring the pot, right? Because um, we want something to happen. There's going to be a change here. Let's see what type of change there could be. Wow, I like this. We've got richness. That is the cornucopia of blessed changes. Perhaps it's not all that bad. Until we get to the tarot though, but we're getting some, uh, well, might be dealing with the Gemini. For some of you, remember, if you if this person is not that star sign, it doesn't mean it's not your reading because we are reading for the collective. It just could be somewhere strong in their chart. There could be milestones happening in Leo or Gemini season next year as well. Ah, there's something to do with fate. Interesting. Something, I'm seeing there's a good change here, but it's fated. What else do we have? Ah, I think some of you are worried about betrayal. I think that's what you're worried about. We've got 11, 1-1. One, one. If you can, please try and keep your thoughts positive. What do we have here? Some of you could be dealing also with an Aquarius or they could have strong Aquarius in their chart. This is what I like. We've got wisdom here because you're not seeing any, all of this. You're not seeing none of this through rose tinted glasses. There is something where a lesson has been learned. So now it's like, I'm going to approach this differently. I'm not seeing that your person is fated to hurt you. What I am seeing here is that you are worried about betrayal. You're worried about lies. If there is a third party or that this person promise you, promises you the world. Is that how I said it properly? They promise you the world. I can't even speak properly now. They promise you the world, but what if they were to do a backflip? So now perhaps Capricorn, you're being a little bit more wiser, right? You've got your heads up, you know, heads up, right? You're being a bit more cautious, right? Because you know now from previous experience that 
talk is cheap, right? Or, you know, people, they say they're going to do this, but they don't do it. But I like that there's change coming up here. And what I like is that Gemini in the Major Arcana is ruled by the lovers um, with Archangel Raphael to heal this. There is something here that is meant to be, of course, with the Betrayal card. Perhaps this person, for some of you, maybe they did something or they perhaps they said something. They were acting a little bit sus. Things went awry, went south. And now perhaps you're seeing this also as a betrayal. But now it's like you probably wouldn't mind reapproaching this from that place of wisdom and experience. I feel like you're prepared. But I, I'm also hearing some of you are preparing yourself for the worst case scenario. And I don't think that's fair for you, Capricorn. Because, you know, with all your past readings, you have been through a lot. So I only want the best for you. But something good's happening here. Oh, let's do it again. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. You know, of course, the only time we see a beautiful cornucopia is with the Empress card. Um, in traditional tarot, you know, in, pretty much, I'm going to say with all the other decks, you know, there's always that beautiful cornucopia there of abundant and beautiful fruit and vegetables here. All right, bottom of the deck, we've got the moon, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. So I do see Capricorn. Some of you are really worried. You know, it's almost like when we can't suss someone out, right? We can't figure them out. <laughs> we can't suss, that doesn't make sense. But you know what? We can't figure this person out. We have some internal fears, internal anxieties, a bit of fear of the future. What if this happens? What if that happens? You probably have every right, though, to at least be a bit concerned because the moon really is a card of mysteries secrets or perhaps this person withholding some information from you for some of you this could be a long distance connection it doesn't have to be though but it kind of feels like even if you are together we're worlds apart right um mm, you've got taurus scorpio leo aquarius energy for some of you because it is the last card of the major arcana perhaps we're not talking to this person yeah i think some of you're not talking to this person that is you the queen of pentacles we got Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus energy with that Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. Uh, try not to beat yourself up. I, I really, it's easy for me to sit here and say that. I know that. But something's happening. I'm hearing there's a change in the wind. Like that song, you know, the answer is blowing in the wind. Something's happening here. Let me split the deck. Knight of Pentacles, something slow is coming here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy. We've got messages, changes, offers, transitions, something solid. It definitely could be this positive change coming up. I feel here what is also this person is probably not telling you. And regardless, I mean, I feel like the vast majority of you are probably not talking to this person. Or I don't know why I'm getting some of you afraid. Like, what if this is the end? Or, you know, it's like, okay, this is the end. Like, is this it? Well, I'm, I don't even know perhaps if this person went, you know, ghosting me or they ended it. You didn't get that closure. It's like you wanted clarity and explanation here from this person. Let's talk here. What's going on top of change? You, I said it. There's good change coming up because you got my number one favorite card. You got the sun, Leo energy. So I think this is why I also said next Leo season might be a milestone. Ah, oh, look what was underneath it. That... <laughs> mm-hmm we've got love and happiness yeah okay this is good there's a good change coming up the end of stress okay what is your person not telling you nine of wands why are they being so guarded what's going on here that's the wounded warrior sagittarius energy the wounded warrior never ever gives up the wounded warrior perhaps is also dealing with a lot of conflict also um, a lot of gossip here they better be careful because they're one card away from the Ten of Wands, which is just a lot of stress here, a lot of, you know, just burdens and responsibilities. But the Sun, it's a, it's such a happy card. It's such a pow powerful card. It does soften the effect of any, any challenging cards. I have a feeling that what your person is not telling you is that they're preparing themselves to come back or at least reapproach you or call you, contact you with something really great. Can we come back together, for example, I don't want to break up, or can we start talking again? Because mm. some of you now do have your own wands up. You know, it's almost like, yeah, what's the catch? You know what I mean? Let's see, Seven of Cups, Scorpio Energy. Perhaps your person here, they, uh, you know, it's a card of fantasies and illusions. If you are not talking to this person, if you stop talking to them, we went our separate ways. You know, I kind of feel here your person, they may have secretly been trying to keep their options open here which I don't like. Um, but I feel like with the sun, it's a card of illumination. I feel like they're gonna tell you that. Perhaps they were dealing with a third party. They were wrapping things up with a third party here. 
They are thinking about you quite a lot. It's a card of fantasies and illusions. The two of wands, they're actually planning. This is definitely going to be revealed in your extender because the two of wands, Aries energy, um, absolutely, that's why it's on top of the card of fate. They're, they're going to make a move. That's stepping into the unknown. And I don't know, I just feel this person couldn't have been non-committal. They had commitment issues in the past that were distracted. Definitely couldn't have been a third party. You know, even with that moon, worst case scenario, there was probably a, like a, a secret romantic third party. Although I'm not picking up, it's for all of you. Now they're realizing there's only one Capricorn here, regardless of your gender. But look at that. They're secretly planning that step toward you. I feel like a lot of you are worried about betrayal or if this, it feels like this person betrayed you. That's why I kind of feel you're not going to accept this Ace of Wands you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I don't feel like you're going to accept it straight away because you've got your wisdom here. Wow. Okay. First, I think you want to talk it out. Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So that is, uh, that's my surprise card. And I feel with that moon as well, you may receive it within the next full moon. And I really feel this person actually wants to talk to you. Mm, okay. All right. Let's see. So you know that absolutely, I want to be absolutely honest with these readings, but I'll always approach it with respect because um, some of you might say, I don't care about this person, but there's uh, definitely a beautiful Capricorn out there that perhaps wants to be with this person again. So the outcome I'm seeing is that this person absolutely, that what they're not telling you is that they want to approach you closer because they want to give you that surprise card. That is a message that represents a budding romance. Could also be an apology for some of you. If your person was a little bit short, if they were cold, if they disappeared here, uh, I think it had something, there, there was emotional distraction here with your person. Emotional distraction, but with the moon, um, I feel like they didn't tell you the whole story. Let's see. This is interesting, like a very interesting reading because I feel like they didn't do it on purpose, but I just feel like the majority of you have perhaps gone your separate ways. We stopped talking. But that sun, remember the sun, and this is good for you to know Capricorn, if you watch my reading or anyone else's reading or get a personal reading from someone else. The sun is the most powerful and the happiest card and the biggest card of illumination. So if your person indeed was hiding anything under the influence of the moon, I don't know where their courage is coming from, but they're going to tell you everything. I like that, but of course, it doesn't mean we have to be with this person, you know, right? So that's why we say power to you. Four, three two last one this is interesting okay we got a brand new start there was something here i keep getting emotional distraction what does that mean Do you, does that make any sense to you capricorn at all if it doesn't they will be letting you know yeah we got the four of wands could have been having issues at home as well friends um getting more family for one person it could be the case of the ex but i'm not really getting that we got aries energy this is a twin flame we've got 11 11 here so some of you might be seeing a lot of 11s even just one or one 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 11 11 this is about coming back together it's about commitment engagement marriage you are getting the ace of swords so if you actually watched last weekend i did your bonus week in all signs tarot reading i do remember i think specifically capricorn for you i did say that there's going to be a very important conversation coming up with your person the person on your mind and if it's the same person on your mind with this reading i mean only two days have passed this person again we're getting that really important conversation it's coming up capricorn if you did miss out on last week's sorry on the weekend reading um it's uh, we have a dedicated playlist it's called all signs so if you go on it it's um uh, I actually did it last Saturday and I did pick up that the vast majority of you will have a very important conversation. Look, look what they want. They want to give you the Ace of Pentacles. But you are worried about this type of deception or being non-committal, being caught and cold here today, gone tomorrow. Um, we've got three Aces. We've got the Two of Swords. Look at that. It's almost like, do I send Capricorn an email? Do I call them? Libra Energy. There's something here they want to work out with you six of wands we've also got justice libra energy this is all about balancing everything out and that three of cups cancer energy definitely could have been a third party um again emotional distraction like a friend that had feelings for them it could be a family member that was like perhaps against the relationship here yeah because we've got that ten of swords gemini energy five of wands there was intrusion here the sun mark my words the sun came out twice right 
double illumination here. You're going to find out everything. I feel like someone, it's like if they were looking at you, someone's like they put their hand on their head and they said, look this way. Don't don't talk to Capricorn anymore. Um, king, oh, the same knight. I thought it was a king. We got the same knight of pentacles. So they're coming very slowly here towards you. Let's talk about the sun, please. Two of wands again. See how we're getting the same cards. And again, I'm getting the same energy that I did pick up for the vast majority of you for the bonus weekend reading that I just did two days ago. Two of wands again. They are reaching out to you. They are kind of going to cross that threshold and say, okay, I'm thinking about Capricorn a lot. And um, mm, I, I feel like they want to reveal something to you. So especially because I really feel that this is either ended or a lot of you are afraid that this is coming to an end. Like, is this it? That is it. Um, interesting. I feel like they don't want to go anywhere. They want to start again. They want to redo here. Nine of Wands, please, is clarified by you, the Two of Pentacles. Now it's going to be your choice, depending on what you hear. You may not like it. I do feel that they're going to say to you, I was distracted or I couldn't give you what you wanted. It was something like that. And I see you doing this. It's like, okay, now they told me. Now I know the truth. What do I do now? I see here that it's not going to be a direct, yeah, you know, I'll take you back or I don't want to be with you again. This is you kind of weighing up your options now. Let's talk about that Seven of Cups, please. I knew it. Look at this. Something's happening here. Your person is emotionally distracted or what's happening here is that someone may have made sure to keep their options open. The Seven of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Cups, which means what? It's solidifying the energies that I'm picking up here. But at the same time, I feel like a person wants to pull away from that because I can't stop thinking about you. That Two of Wands, please, is clarified by the Five of Pentacles. Wow. Capric uh, no, sorry, that's Taurus energy right here. Someone, I feel like another thing that your person may not be telling you is that perhaps they don't have the money that you think they do. Um, so something here about the stability. If we see someone here counting their coins. They're getting, you know, bills that say is past due, for example. They may have lost their job or at least there's kind of, if they had more than one job, there's loss of income here. Money could have been lost or stolen. It's hemorrhaging towards someone or something here, especially with the justice could be court proceedings such as separation, divorce legality something like that and i feel that's another thing your person is not telling you because i i'm hearing that they don't want you to see them as baggage so that could be another reason why if your person actually did pull back here as well ace of wands please it, are you you're watching this right so we have the seven of cups clarified by the seven of cups the ace of wands clarified by the ace of wands seeing is believing that's why i like to shuffle and deal the cards on camera um this person is serious they are like completely serious here now about having a brand new start with you they're actually i don't know why but i feel they, they're feeling a little bit more liberated now but in the past yes they did have secrets yes they didn't want to tell you it caused them to be very non-committal and a lot of you were scratching your head thinking this person's going to hurt me and you're sensing betrayal that's that snake in the grass it definitely could be um, if there was a lot with um, with that five of wands, Leo energy, a third party, family, friends. It could be even a friend that has feelings for your person or just family that, again, I find it really twisted and bizarre that, you know, they see you as like competition. Let's talk about that page of cups. What is the message about? It's about the three of wands. That is Aries energy. The first thing I saw uh, the energy that I picked up is that they want to tell you where they've been all this time, why they've been so distracted, what's really going on. They told me to take out at least two or three more. We've got the magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. Okay, so this person obviously wants a new start with you. Nine of Pentacles, interesting. Um, they don't want you to be single. They don't want to be single. And if there was an issue that they didn't want to lose their independence or that, I don't know why, but that, that was like a, a fleeting thought because we've got the Two of Cups, my second favorite card, the card of true love, Cancer Energy. This is coming back together. So from what I can see here, things that they have not been telling you, third party, absolutely. Romantic or not, although I'm feeling for the vast majority of you, it was either family or friend that was interfering. And if it was indeed a friend, I feel like they have feelings for this person. And now your person's like, no, no, no. Uh, they're going to embody the Knight of Pentacles. We got that twice. Ace of Wands twice. Seven of Cups twice. Oh, don't forget we got the Two of Wands twice. So we're getting the same cards. And we know that twos are all about choices. The choice is going to fall on you right now. I can see when this person does um, reapproach you. But yeah, you're definitely seeing deception here with that Ten. You know that Ten of Swords is about loss, ending, separation, divorce. Now they want to come back. I feel that they were embarrassed to tell you what's happening with their finances or their career. Um, especially if it was 
someone has been using them here for their money yeah the world card the nine of swords look it's not fair that you're like this it's absolutely not fair the ten of pentacles we got and look at that we got your perfect match the queen and the king of pentacles the three of wands again so this person they're waiting for waiting for the right time to reapproach you though and now they want to clarify yes i do feel that there was a secret third party it literally like a snake in the grass and they're going to let you know that the sun came out twice so they're going to let you know it's like they're going to say for example my friend or my brother my sister my mother for whatever it was they're going to say it's like you know they that they needed me or they i feel like they could even make it up like i i'm i'm not feeling well you know take care of me i need money for example um this is very interesting because i'm seeing some action here already with that two of wands that this person wants to reach out to and i feel like they want another chance with that ace of wands <laughs> clarified by the ace of wands so it might make you very emotionally confused or even just very like spread thing it's like here today gone tomorrow here so, and that's why i was picking up especially over the weekend we're getting it again um you're going to get massive clarity because the only thing this person wants is just to commit to you but first that important conversation keeps coming up here and it's going to offer a lot of clarity in fact to be i'm going to be very honest it i don't i thought this was going to be worse it is not as bad as i thought it would be but we need to get rid of that third party i don't want i don't like seeing too many threes i really don't like that no and now your person's kind of like seeing the error of their ways i do feel that they i don't know why they're feeling embarrassed ashamed vulnerable to talk about something about their money their career their finances um something with legalities that's been happening but they can't keep it a secret because the moon was there but we've got the sun twice though but one thing that so far they're not telling you is that I'm planning on coming back. I'm planning on actually I want to kind of cross that bridge and meet you there in the middle. So in your optional extended reading, I want to figure out now their next actions, their next move towards you and why. Because now we know what they were hiding, what they were not telling you. It could have been a lot worse. I'm just saying right now, I thought it was going to be worse. It could have been a lot worse, but it isn't. In fact, the other things that they're not telling you is they want to give you the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, with that Two of Cups, this person absolutely loves you. I don't oh, no, that's the Five of Wands. Where is it? Where's the Two of Cups? Yeah, right here. Um, they probably even haven't told you. Uh, if they have, I'll say it again. If they haven't, they probably will say it. I'm just going to say it. Yeah, let it come and let it flow because the Page of Cups is a delightful surprise card of messages, of revelations. So let's check out your optional extended. It's not as bad, but I understand whatever they did, if you're seeing that here as like deception, as betrayal, I would completely understand. I would see it as well, especially if they just disappeared. So now let that conversation happen because it's gonna offer a lot of clarity. So as a reminder, the optional extended is in the description box below. I will see you on the other side. Let's get straight into it because I will be using probably three or four different decks in the optional extended. So I'll see you there. Take care and power to you. Bye Capricorn.